Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yaks, this is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, on my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, we're going to be talking about something right now, which is very, very funny, and it's talking about Razor. Yeah, you see what the title says. So, basically, the Razor has came out with the Razor Kishi V2. What? What? So let's get this straight. Razor came out with a Razor Kishi 2. And we want to talk about the downfalls, the bads, and the uglies. So Razor came out with the Razor Kishi 2, right? Version 2. So basically, they dropped all support for the Kishi 1. So basically, if you only have an iPhone, you're getting the support for the Razor Kishi iPhone version. If you have the iPhone, the, uh, uh, Razer Kishi Android version. Guess what? They give zero fucks about Android and they're not giving support. Now, I have my Razer Kishi for now almost a year and a half, almost two years now. I've reached out to Razer multiple times to try to get some type of information about the Razer Kishi updates to get it to work with Call of Duty Mobile. Um, it works for uh, Fortnite. But is, I've been doing a lot of beta testing and a lot of the games don't work with the Razer Kishi. <clears throat> Damn. So the one that they dropping right now is for the, um, I believe it's for Android or iPhone. I'm not completely sure which one, but I might have to check out my tweets real quick. Let me check out my tweet. Okay, so the Razer Kishi 2 V2 is for the Android device. Now, here's the problem. They gave up all support for the Razer Kishi but they drop in a V2 version, which is Android, that has macro support. I have the Razer Kishi right here, as you can see right here. Basically, what they did was copy the backbone. They took every layout from the key, the backbone, and put it on the Kishi. Same look, same part, even from the back part with the name in the background that actually has the Razer on the back of it they took their most iconic the the thumbsticks that we told backbone about they took this out of it to put these thumbsticks on their version are you kidding me they straight on out copied the backbone they made it look directly like the backbone uh they're not going to support it they just trying to drop it because kishi uh backbone is going to be coming out with an android version so they're trying to get a v2 version of their android version out with them why am i telling you guys don't buy it here's all the details why you should not buy the kishi v2 one no customer support two no support three no software hardware firmware on um app support whatsoever kishi breaks whatever like that it's hard to get in tech support because they don't barely re um answer anything via uh, uh twitter or anything like that you got to send an email and hopefully they'll send you some information back razor's products I, I don't mess with products from razor because like i said lack of support there's no support from it right there and you're going to just waste your time you're not going to be able to play multi uh, mini games with this. This right here is meant for two things, remote play and cloud gaming. So if it's not emulation, cloud gaming or remote play is garbage. If you want to be able to use this for the fullest and be able to enjoy it, the best bet is to get the iOS version, which is iPhone. If you have Android, don't look to get much out of it. I enjoy using this when I'm using a remote play or cloud gaming because of the thumbsticks only. Other than that, the buttons is crappy. This part to open it up is crap. All right, so you got to stretch out your phone and sometimes you're worried about bending this and there's a big scratch on this thing. So when you pressing down the uh, uh, triggers, it has the scratching um, sound, which is ugh. The only thing that's good with this thing is the thumbsticks. Other than that, this is garbage. Don't even buy the iPhone version. If you want a good controller, get the Backbone one from Backbone. Not only is it good, stretch out like that, 
from the max and up. I'm going to tell you all the pros with this and the only con behind this. Pros. Comfortable. Two ports right here. It feels very, very, very comfortable. No scratchiness. The buttons feel good. Wish it had some clickiness, but don't. Buttons click in. Everything clicks. You ain't going to be able to hear it the way I have my microphone set up. Um, but it's very comfortable playing like this with the phone inside of it. If you order this through Backbone's website and you do have an iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, through the website only, you get the extra piece directly that comes with the backbone this is for the um 13 pros and pro maxes this come with it in your order free of charge also if you order it through backbone's website they give you a ten dollar apple gift card to use on whatever you whatever game you want to use on the apple store they also give you a three month pass i think it's three months or six months for xbox um cloud gaming also you get a one year subscription to their software which i'm going to talk about that in a second a one year subscription for their app that um brings out so many features and with the subscription you'll be able to play actually you'll be able to record your games in 1080p 60 without the subscription is 1080p 30. you get the charging ports and stuff also with the software you can use this controller on any device you have so yes this is the actual controller that you can use on everything as long as you have the subscription plug my lightning charger into it and plug it into my computer or my uh ipad or my uh, uh tablet samsung tablet don't matter what it is or my pc or my mac and the only thing i gotta do is go into the settings on my own um, phone change it from tablet to phone to a uh, computer if you own an apple computer you can use the output right here to charge it to actually plug it into your computer. And now if you have um, QuickTime, everybody has QuickTime if you own a map, you can use this to actually stream your games. And here's the good thing. If you have Elgato softwares or OBS and stuff like that, if you plug this directly into your Mac and open up OBS or the Elgato software, you'll be able to do a full stream with no extra things, no capture card. So you don't need a capture card to stream with your iPhone with this going into your Mac computer. You also get 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here that you can plug it in or go Bluetooth wise. So if you want that extra features, this is the way to go. Only con on this backbone controller is the thumbsticks. That's why I got high rises on here because the thumbsticks suck. Save your money. Don't buy the Razer Quiche V2. Um, they basically copy the backbone. If you're an Android user, wait because backbone is coming out with an android version of the backbone and you get all these features razor doesn't give you nothing but yeah guys you get more with your money for this it's only 99.99 and on the website no tax towards it so you get more of the better things with this like it, it's just an all-out better thing than what razor's about to drop guys so it's your boy easy here ipod jerry hack only use me time marks and i'll catch you guys later that's it and i'm out deuces